in the world did Jesus tell Peter, I give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. But watch this here now. He said, and whatsoever thou shalt die on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Now wait a minute, wait a minute, watch this now. He said there are some things that were not in the law of Moses. That was not in the law. That was written in the heart of the Gentiles. That I'm going to require you to do. So what you buy shall be bought. That's why it's not up to me to determine how we serve God. God has already bound that. Amen. Whoa, watch this. He said, whatever you loot yes, shall be loosed in heaven. Yes, sir. That meant that there were something Amen, that they did over yonder yes, sir. that you don't have to do over here. Say that again. Well, church, I'm glad tonight that there are some things they did that we don't have to do. Amen. See, when I was a young boy, since I was one of the older boys at home, when daddy went out to hunt, it was my responsibility to clean the squirrels and the rats. I remember many days when you would take the rat and you take the knife and you would split down that, down that fur, make that incision, then take your hand, pull back and in, in order to put it off, then you take your knife, turn him over, and put the knife right in the midsection. I'm glad right? that when we come together, on Sunday morning, we don't have to take a sheep nor a goat. We don't have to separate the fact. I'm glad right now that, that some of what they did over there yes, has been loose over here. Yes, or oh, how do you know it, preacher? Yes, Come here, Isaiah. Yes, sir. Because if you are going to use keys, sir. Yes, sir. Now, I want us to understand this. The keys were the new doctrine, the new teaching that would admit individual and into the church of Christ. I got a question, church. When Peter used his keys, what was Peter going to preach? Well, listen to the book, Isaiah chapter 2. Yes, sir. Verse number two. Yes, sir. And it shall come to pass. Yes, sir. In the last day. Yes, sir. That the mountain of the Lord's house. Yes, sir. Shall be established. In the top of the mountain. Yes, sir. Shall be exalted above the hill. Oh. And all nations shall throw under eyes he hit. Yes. And many will come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob. For he shall teach us all his way. We shall walk in his faith. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Wait a minute, wait a minute. He said the law was going to go forth where? Well from Zion. I know that's not the Old Testament law. No, sir. Because it didn't go forward no, from Zion. I got a question, no, sir. When the law goes forward, what's going to be preached? Yes, sir. When the law goes forward, listen to the book. Yes, sir. Luke chapter 24. Yes, sir. Verse number 45. Yes, sir. Luke chapter 24. Yes, sir. Verse number 45. Right. Jesus said, Thus it behooves. Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day that repentance and remission of sin yes, might be preached yes, in his name yes, 
among all nature. Be Ganny there. Jeru the lamb. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, church. When Peter used the key, what does Peter have to preach? Well, Repentance right. and remission of sins. Yes, now, when I teach students, one of the things that I really love to talk about, you see, when the Bible was written, when this text, when you see there's a difference between you when you read about something yes, sir. after it has happened. Now, well, now, 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 wait a minute, watch this now. When Jesus said what he said, it had happened yet. Well, but we have an advantage tonight <laughs> because we can look back and see whether it happened. Well, Just like he said, right, it was going to happen. Right. See, one thing I like about God yes, sir. that's different from us, yes, sir. we know where we have been. Well, well but we don't know where we are going. Amen. We can talk about what has been. Well, but when we start talking about what is going to be, we have to say, if it's the Lord's will, because we do not know. But I got a question tonight, and and uh, and I'm almost done. But now let me share something with you. When I start saying I'm almost done, and I'm at home, the church has gotten accustomed to just sitting back because somebody say that he's going to say he's almost done a couple of times. Well, almost done is relative. So just sit back a few more minutes. I need to know tonight what happened when Peter used his key. Yes, sir. Come here, Luke. Yes, sir. Acts chapter number two. Yes, sir. The Bible says that when the day of Pentecost was fully come. Yes, sir. They were all with one accord. Yes, sir. In one place. Yes, sir. Suddenly there came a sound from heaven. Yes, sir. As of a rushing mighty wind. Yes, sir. It filled all the house. Yes, sir. Where they were sitting. Yes, sir. There appeared unto them a cloven tongue, like as a fire, yes, sir. set upon each of them, and they all began to speak with other tongues. Yes, sir. And the Spirit gave them her. Yes, now there were dwelling at the root, yes, Jews devout me, yes, out of every nation under heaven. Can, can I drop this here? Yes, sir. When they came to the day of Pentecost, they were there to obey what God had said. Right. Because there were, there were three feet that all male Jews were required to go to Jerusalem in order to keep. Right. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. We got the Jews here. We have the proselytes here. We have every nation under heaven here. Well, when the apostles began to speak with other tongues, somebody said, these men are full of new wine. Now, wait a minute, watch this now. Whenever people don't know what's going on, yes, they don't mind making up something yes, to explain well, where yes. Peter stood up with the eleven. Wait a minute, sister. Were any sister uh -oh. standing up? Peter stood up with the eleven. Right. Said, ye men of, ye men of Israel, now hear these words. I'm moving forward, y'all. Yes, I know he told them these men yes, sir. are not drunk right. as he supposed. Saying it is, right. but the third hour of the day. Yes, but this is that which was spoken by the prophet John. Yes, but I don't want that. Yes, I want to move forward. Because right. I need to know what did Peter preach? When he used his key, yes, now ye men of Judea, hear these words. Jesus, I'm not yes, 
as ye yourself also know him being delivered by the determined counsel and foreknowledge of God, ye have taken with wicked hand, have crucified and slain, whom God having raised up, having loosed the pains of death, because it was not possible that he should be holding up there. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Now what did Peter tell him? Peter told him, brother, number one, you killed Jesus. Well, but number two, God raised him up. Wait a minute, wait a minute. When you preach the gospel, you have got to let folks know that Jesus Christ left the shores of heaven, came down here to this sin cursed sir, born of the Virgin Mary, wrapped in swaddling clothes and laid at a manger, walked upon the earth, 30 and 3 years, one day for the old Roman cross, up God got the hill, out on Mount Calvary, died for the sins of the entire world, taken down to bear in the father tomb of Joseph, a battle of the fair, stayed there three days and three nights, but heard the one Lord they morning, got up from the graveyard, Number one, Peter told him that God sent him down here. Right. You killed him, yes. but God raised him up. Whoa, but wait a minute. Peter wasn't done yet. Yes, Come here, Peter. Verse number 29. Yes, sir. He said, me and nothing, brother, yes, let me speak freely of the patriarch David, yes, that he is both dead and buried, yes, and his sacrifice with us. Yes, even unto this day, yes, but he being a prophet, yes, knowing that God is sworn by an oath unto him that loved the fruit of his Lord, right. according to the flood, he would raise up Christ to sit on his throne. Right. If I had time, right. when you hear folks say that Jesus didn't come to die, that Jesus came to be a a kingdom, but because the Jews killed it, he built the church and said, No ma'am and no son. When Jesus left the shores of heaven, Jesus came down here to die on the cross. But watch this not, because what you're doing, Peter, I'm using my key that Jesus gave me. Watch what he said in verse 36. Yes, he said, Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God had made that what? That same Jesus, whom ye have crucified, both Lord and Christ, when they heard this, they were pricked in the heart, said to Peter, to the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? Peter said, go to the morning bed. Pray for a feeling that I felt and told. No ma'am and no sir. Peter didn't tell her. Let the Lord come into your heart. No ma'am and no sir. Peter didn't tell her. Pray for a feeling that's going to hit you in the top of your head and go all the way down through your feet. No ma'am and no sir. Peter said repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sin. Ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost for the promise is unto you and unto your children. Let me throw up. He said the promise is unto you. That's the Jew. Right. To your children. That's the children of the Jew. Right. And to all of them that are afar off. Right. I get so glad to know right. that he said to all of them yes. that are afar off. Because yes, I wasn't in the first two groups. Yes, but I'm glad tonight yes, that I was in that last group. Yes, those that are are far off, right. and with many 
other word did he exalt and testify, saying, Save yourself from his underworld generation, being in vain, they gladly received his word, were baptized, and the same day yes, there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. I'm almost done, church, but I got a question tonight. When the Bible said they were added unto them, yes, who are the them? Amen. And how in the world did the them get there? Draw well, from the Paul, yes, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, yes, sir. verse number 28, yes, sir. that God said the apostles in the church, right. who are the them? That is the twelve yeah. who were the three thousand where they were added to those twelve. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Cause I got a question. Somebody said more. Do I need to be a member of that one church? Well, you all just walk with me now. I need to make just a little demonstration. Now, don't try to get upset. I'm not going outside the word. I just want y'all to look now because I want to show you something. Well, I want this thing to be the them. So wait a minute. I got the them. I got 12 over here. Who are, I got 3,000 who I added to the them. Well, I got a question. Does everybody else need to be added to the them? Well, if everybody else does not need to be added to the them, why in the world did these 3,000 need to be added to the them? If everybody in the world does not need to be added to the them, why in the world did these 3,000 have to be added to the them. Well, somebody raised another question, then I promise I'm almost done. They said, how in the world do you get the church then to be the church now? Well, what right is not? Because I got a question. Well, I know some of you might have, have been reading that it's good to eat apple. Well, when I was on it all, I remember going to the store. My favorite apple was the granny apple. Right. Well, and it also had the apple from Washington. Right. Well, I'm a few years older now, but granny apple, I still here now. Right. I got a question, jerk. How in the world can Granny Apple still be here now yeah. when Granny Apple were around when I was a little boy yeah. and they were here before I was ever born? Yeah. Well, let me share something with you. Cause you have me running around saying I am an apostle, no man and no son. I'm not an apostle tonight. Because wait a minute, if you want the granny apple to hang around, you don't depend on the granny apple. Yeah. Cause I don't care where you put it, that apple is going to decay. Yeah. If you want the granny apple to hang around, it's not the granny apple, right. but it's the seed yes, that's on the inside. Oh, the granny apple. And when you take the granny apple seed and you plant that seed, whether it's in Florida or in Louisiana or in Georgia or in Mississippi, right. you are going to get a granny apple. You're not going to get a granny seed and get a red little apple. You are going to get that same granny apple. Well, on the day of Pentecost, Peter planted the seed and the church of Christ got started in the city of Jerusalem. A few days later, that same seed planted in the Ephesus and, and, and you had the same kind of fruit.